Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is a video session and this is not the live stream, it's a video, recorded video session. And because um, I need to go see my family today. Uh, it's not that the uh, my families are ill or sick or something like that, but um, they are... With, I just want to talk about uh, uh, the move to Dubai with my family and that's why uh, tonight I will talk to them and that's why I cannot do the live stream and that's why I decided to cre create a video and upload on my YouTube channel today so hopefully you enjoyed today's uh, video session so let me squeeze my face uh, so this video is recorded at uh, 9 49 in UTC time zone so this is about uh, four hours before this video is uploaded and today so far I've seen the Canadian dollar pairs are strong, so Canadian dollar currency is strong, so uh, that's why I decided to pick up two pairs which are the um, AUDCAD pair and also um, CADJPY. I would like to mention about these particular two pairs and um, share my view here. So. Yeah, so before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is basically based on my own experience knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So first, let me talk about the AUDCAD pair. So this is downtrending. This is bearish because this is not daily chart and we have the Kumo down. Senko span B is down, A is down. And if you're new to Ichimoku, uh, Ichimoku is composed of five lines, and this is called the Senko Span B. The upper part is called the Senko Span B, and the lower part is called the Senko Span A. And the area between Senko Span B and A is called the Kumo. You can call the Senko Span B as Senko Span 2, and also A can be called 1. It's either fine, basically, they are the same meaning. But uh, Senko Span B is the upper part and Senko Span A is the lower part when it's bearish Kumo. And when it's bullish Kumo, it's opposite. Uh, the lower part is called Senko Span B and upper part is called Senko Span A. And this is exactly when they twist. When Senko Span AB becomes dead cross, then becomes a bearish Kumo. And now it's bearish Kumo here. And after the twist, it's been nicely downtrending um, as you see the Kumo is gaining thickness and now the exactly the angle of the Senko Span B is pointing down and also Senko Span A angle is pointing down so this is bearish and the Kumo shows the long term market direction momentum so that means the Senko Span B A going down so meaning that this is downtrending in the long term and also Ichimoku has other three lines and one of them is the Kijun Sen. In my chart color setting, the Kijun Sen is a green one. And this is showing the mid-term market momentum and direction. So now the Kijun Sen is pointing downwards, so that means this is bearish in mid-term. And also there is another line that's blue. This is called the Tenkan Sen. And Tenkan Sen showed the short term market direction momentum. And Tenkan Sen right now is pointing down, so that means this is bearish also in the short term. So that means we have the Kumo down and Kijun Sen down and Tenkan Sen down. So that means from long term, long term to mid term to short term, this is bearish. So as soon as this is market, I can see that this is bearish and I can expect the market continue to go down in a short to mid to long term on this daily time frame. So that will be one of the things that I've, I look at when I've, whenever I see screen charts. Um, so I do look at the price action too, but if you also have a knowledge of Ichimoku lines, then you can easily identify whether the market is bearish or bullish or range. And the last one, the last one that I mentioned about the Ichimoku is the Chikou Span. Chikou Span is uh, the only indicator that's lagging. And this is uh, lagging 26 candles backwards, including 
this current farming candlestick. And Chikou span location is also important. When you see Chikou span below the candles, this is bearish. So it's happening right now, Chikou span below the candles. So that also means that this is also bearish market. And that's why on this uh, trading view today, I posted this um, AUDC ADPR. I posted that this is bearish and I expect the market goes downwards. So, uh, so this is on the daily chart and now it's going down. So I expect the market go down, but uh, if you if you want to be more precise, then I look at also the forward chart and lower time frames too. So um, what I usually do is once I capture the trend direction on the daily chart, and then I also look at the forward chart just to compare uh, and just to see exactly what's happening in the market, more details in the forward chart, then the Kumo looking different. The Kumo Senko Span B is flat now and A is flat. So this is flat Kumo. And in Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen, they are flat also. And Chikou Span below the candle, so this is good. This is still bearish, but we have the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen flat in the forward chart. So in this condition, um, you better wait for the market breaks the previous support level on the 4 hour chart or 1 hour chart, which is at what, 0 0.9424 level. Once it breaks, the market can continuously go bearish. So once it breaks, then I will look for the sell chance. And it's more obvious when you look at the 1 hour chart. So in one hour chart, um, now we have the Kumo's uh, Senko Span B is flat. Senko Span A is down, so this is good. But sen Kijun Sen flat. And also the uh, Tenkan Sen pointing downwards. And Chikou Span below the candles. So this is more bearish in this one hour chart than forward chart. So, but the only thing I have to wait for is the Kijun Sen angle. Usually what I do is, in one hour chart, if I see still Kijun Sen flat and Kumo Senko Span B or A flat, then um, I want to look for the sell chance. And now the Senko Span A is going down, this is good, this is down Kumo, and Senko Span A angle is downwards. But the only thing I have to wait for is the Kijun Sen angle. I will wait for the Kijun Sen point downwards and start to look for the sell chance in lower time frames. But um, once, it, once it moves downwards, the Kijun Sen moves downwards in one hour chart, that means either the market renews lower or the market um, renews um, uh, high to the lower for the last 26 candles because that's what the Kijun Sen calculates. So um, you can also look at the mar past market and uh, so Kijun Sen in one hour chart, the Kijun Sen is currently forming over here and 26 candles backwards was exactly on this candlestick. And Kijun Sen takes the high and low for the last 26 candles. So that means that Kijun Sen is taking the high as here at this um, 0 0.9502 level, it's a high and also the low as this support 0 0.9424 level. So uh, yeah, so so once again, this is a high, and this is a low for the last twenty six bars in this one hour chart, and so that means if the market renews lower, then for sure that will make the Kijun Sen lower, so that which is a breakout, which is equal to the breakout of support, and then uh, I will look for the sell chance. That's one of the timings when I look for the sell chance in this condition. And also other condition would be when the high gets lower, so that means currently in this one hour chart, the Kijun Sen is taking these highs, these are uh, two highs over here, and the market, the Kijun Sen is going to reach to the previous high in two hours. So uh, this is current uh, 26 backwards, and the Kijun Sen will start to take 
next hour, it's gonna take this candlestick. And on the next hour, Kijun Sen is gonna take this one. And on the next hour, it's gonna take this one. And if we can, if I can zoom in over here, uh, so once the Kijun Sen start to take the previous low, sorry, as here, a previous uh, so next high from this will be exactly on this candlestick. So um, and Kijun Sen will will uh, take this. Uh, candle high in about 4 hours from now so uh, once the Kijun Sen start to take this one then that will make the Kijun Sen go down so it's gonna happen in about 4 hours from now and looks like uh, when I'm speaking there is a new candlestick forming now so uh, if this is the case then uh, you can drag Just you can just shift one candle and uh, now, after this candlestick close, which is exactly this one, um, the Kijun Sen will take this candlestick high in uh, one to three hours. So, so that means if the market does not renew lower on Kijun Sen in one hour chart, if it st so, let's say if the market retries backwards like this in for the next 3 hours that will also continuously make the Kijun Sen flat but once the market start to take this high which becomes lower the high gets lower and that will make the Kijun Sen down this way so I can already foresee that if the market retraces backwards from here then uh, in, in about the next 4 hours that will automatically make the Kijun Sen point down so um, it's either the market breaks downwards this way, it's either market breaks downwards this way that will make the Kijun Sen lower, or um, simply when the Kijun Sen start to take the previous high as this one, that will also make the Kijun Sen lower, and that will become a also downtrend in that condition. As per Ichimoku definition, uh, Ichimoku so Ichimoku doesn't take the close price, but Ichimoku takes the high and low for the specific uh, candlestick in the past Kij and Kijun Sen takes 26, Tenkan Sen takes 9 and Senko Span B takes for the last uh, 52 candles so um, and also Kijun Sen is the most important line in my opinion if you want to capture the market direction um, so uh, in that sense uh, within the 4, watch, four hours uh, if the Kijun Sen start to take the previous, the second high here, then that will automatically make the Kijun Sen lower. So, if the market retraces backwards in one hour chart, then uh, we can expect the market will Kijun Sen go down, and after four hours later from here, um, the market can go down this way. So, um, so that's also something um, that what I mentioned today. So this is about the Ichimoku calculation and this is how you can foresee when the Kijun Sen or you can apply it on the Senko Span B or Tenkan Sen to point down or upwards. And also even even this happens, even the retracement happens for the next 4 hours, um, the, the Chikou Span will go up like this but uh, for sure it doesn't touch the candles. So from that so from, from that reason too, the market is continuously bearish when it happens. But um, so, anyways, uh, so basically, uh, that's what I'm waiting for. As soon as I see this market, and this is a bit of uh, like a deep, deeper knowledge, deeper analysis as to um, when you can uh, expect the expect the Kijun Sen or Senko Span B or Tenkan Sen to point. So, um, but to make the long, long story short, um, since the daily chart is now down, after this uh, support line breakout, this uh, Kumo down, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen down in the daily chart. So, in one hour chart, that's what I'm waiting for. And 
I expect the market breaks downwards and if it happens then I will look for the sell chance. So let me briefly look at the 5 minute chart and see how it behaves now on these candlesticks. So and also what I usually do is in 5 minute chart I also look at it and see if the market has potential breakout in the price action. So um, here we see after uh, after this uh, trip top here, um, the market started to go down on the reverse new wave, and it reached all the way to the support line, support level at this uh, 0 0.9424 level, and now this is in the P wave. It's squeezing P wave, and I expect the, uh, I expect this P wave can be broken downwards this way in five minute chart because this is overall bearish. And also Canadian dollars looks to be very strong today. So from that reason too, as a pair AUD CAD, it's bearish. So I expect the market continuously go down today. So uh, in five, you can uh, view like that. And also I use the Bollinger Bands and Stochastics. So in terms of Bollinger Bands, um, the bands are squeezing now in five. So uh, when it squeezes like this, then you can expect after the next expansion, um, the market can gradually go down this way. So that's one of the things that I'll also look at as per indicator. And also stochastics too. Um, when stochastics becomes dead cross, then that will also make the market go down. Or actually, sorry, uh, it's opposite opposite uh, explanation. When the market goes down, then that will make the uh, this uh, stochastics dead cross. Because uh, stochastics uh, reacts by the close price of the candles in the market. So um, unless the market closes, that won't move, uh, that will make the stochastic dead cross a gold cross. So yeah, so this is bearish. So I, I have the bearish viewpoint and look for an exact trending edge to sell. And most likely it will come after the breakout of the support level at this 0 0.2424 level. So 0 0.9424 level here. So, but I won't take a sell right now because um, the market still might be supported and goes upwards in five or lower time frames. So, I will make sure to clearly break the support which will make the one hour chart Kijun Sen down and then from there I will start to look for the sell chance. So that's what I expect uh, to happen in the market and if it doesn't happen in the market let's say if the market goes up from here then simply I won't take any trades. So it's important to know exactly when to take trace and when not to take trace and Ichimoku or uh, if you look, if you use Ichimoku in multiple time frames you will exactly know uh, when the market is trending and when the market is ranging and basically that's what I do every time I take trace. So that was the AUDCAD as one of the pairs that I would like to introduce today. And also another pair that I'm watching is the CADJPY. So let me switch it to CADJPY. And this is a daily chart as I posted here on this uh, TradingView account. Um, CADJPY continuously bullish, I posted. So um, because I still expect the market goes up on this uh, bullish trend. Um, so uh, you can see the full explanation of uh, why I think this is bullish. But let me explain in words here on this uh, video session. So uh, this is bullish because the Kumo is up, first of all. The Kumo is uh, in a composed of Senko Span B and Senko Span A. Or you can call it Senko Span 2 and 1. I usually call it B and A because uh, it's it's uh, you know much much uh, simpler and also uh, it's easier 
to identify. If I use the numbers, I used to use numbers 2 and 1, and that's the original teaching, but um, I used, started to use B and A because um, that's more easier to identify. If I start to use the words in, in these uh, numbers, then it might confuse people, like, uh, you know, it might confuse in terms of the number of uh, candles, number of the price, or number of time frame, and that's why I started to use B and A afterwards. But in the original teaching of the part 1 to 5 Ichimoku series video, I used 2 and 1, because back then, um, I was still new to YouTube, and um, I didn't uh, I didn't have a good skill to explain the Ichimoku back then. So now I start to use B and A on these uh, on my YouTube live streams and videos. So uh, so anyways, so uh, Ichimoku has senko span B and senko span A, and both are pointing upwards now. Both senko span B and A are pointing upwards now in these parts. But kijun sen flat, kijun sen flat. But in this particular case, I expect the market breaks upwards this way simply because the tenkan sen is nicely uptrending and also chikou span all the way above the candles. So, in that sense, this is bullish to me. So, I expect the market breaks the previous resistance at this. 90.11 level. So, um, and with that in mind, I also watched the forward chart. And in terms of forward chart, this is bullish because now the Kumo is also nice left trending in the forward chart and also Senkospan B flat, but A is gradually moving up and the Kijun Sen is moving up too and Chikou span above the candles, so this is bullish, and I expect the market breaks upwards this way. It might happen today, so or tomorrow at the news, uh, at the, there's a speech, BOC speech tomorrow on Thursday in Canada, so uh, it might affect the market to push upwards. So uh, this is uh, my favorite uh, setting called uh, Ascending Triangle. So. Um, the high, if the high still remain the same, if the market will be resisted here for the next couple of hours, but the lows are getting higher and higher. And also, if you look at the lows here, um, the price has been supported by this Kijun Sen beautifully in the forward chart. So uh, even if the market retraces backwards sometime today, I expect the market will be supported by the Kijun Sen and goes up and breaks the previous resistance at this 90.11 level is my expectation. So if the breakout doesn't happen today, then uh, uh, tomorrow uh, it might be supported by the Kijun Sen and still breaks the support uh, breaks the resistance level upwards tomorrow or Friday is my expectation. So um, that's the CADJPY in forward chart. And with that in mind, I also look at the one hour chart. I also look at the one hour chart and see how it behaves within this triangle P wave structure. And in one hour chart, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen flat, and Chikou Span has been tracing the candles. Chikou Span is like a magnet to the previous candles and it's been uh, tracing the past candles. So, in that sense, this is the end of the candlestick in the past as, as per Chikou Span and Chikou Span could go down as the market gradually goes down this way. So from these reasons, this is not really a good timing for entry. But if there's a Chikou Span break in one hour chart, that could be a good entry chance and afterwards the market still breaks upwards. Or um, it can be still resisted by the previous resistance level and retest the trend line and retest the Kijun Sen in the forward chart and afterwards it can go up this way. So right now for me also this is not the good entry chance because uh, because of this Chikou Span overlap. I will make sure the Chikou Span gets away from the candles in this case and start to look for the buy chance. 
but that could be before the market breaks the resistance because this is in ascending P wave and I prefer to be in a trade before the breakout so that once it breaks it can go very fast it's my strategy and also this is a JPY pair so you can also look at the Tokyo box breakout so let me switch it to the Tokyo box so uh, and let me lower the time frame to let's say 5 so Tokyo session was in between this, uh, this yellow box Tokyo session exactly started here and it, it ended over here so after the Tokyo session ends so this is a Tokyo session high and this uh, 90.03 and Tokyo session low was uh, 89.70 and it looks like it's about to break the Tokyo session upwards because uh, this is also in the ascending P wave in 5 minute chart also so um, it can break upwards or it can retest this uh, the trend line it can retest the trend line and it will go up also too but anyhow um, I will just simply wait for the Tokyo box breakout at this uh, 90.03 level as one of the confirmations for entry chance and once it breaks the Tokyo box then I uh, also expect the market breaks the previous resistance at this 90.11 level too so that will be double confirmations for an entry chance in terms of price action if I can look into details after the Tokyo session ends here um, the price is still uptrending on the bullish new wave this is bullish new wave and now it's about to break and uh, yeah so looks like uh, yeah this is bullish and if I can briefly touch on the Bollinger Bands and also stochastics uh, right now the price is above the band upper part of the band so this is this showing that this is a bullish trend in 5 and also um, it's about gold cross stochastic is about gold cross so once it happens um, that will be another good confirmation for entry chance so um, if I see these multiple confirmations for entry in 5 or 15 many charts then I'm willing to take trades on this one too and lastly let me touch on the ultimate target in this market so once the market breaks the previous resistance then it can go up all the way to a 91.6 level and 91.6 is a run number so uh, usually the market respects the run number so before the market reaches to 91.6 there is another important run number which is 91 91.00 would be the next psychological number so uh, once it breaks it can reach to the run number 91 level and once it breaks it can continuously go up to the next run number 91.6 because this level is the high from all the way back in uh, yeah this uh, 2018 January and also uh, 2017 September there were two resistances here from 2017 September and 2018 January so once it breaks the run number 91 then it can go up to 91.6 level is my expectation but um, all these starts all these scenario can be possible once the market breaks the, the most previous resistance level so let's just wait for the breakout at this 90.11 level and expect the market breaks upwards to, and reach to the 91 level in, in the near future so yeah these are the multiple time frame analysis which I usually do so um, so if you're not familiar with the multiple time frames then I recommend you to take the daily chart first and be able to analyze the market clearly and then 
take the next one hour chart. And you can do the same. You can uh, watch the market by Kumo and Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen, Chikou Span, these five lines on one hour chart, and then break it down to the lower time frames and look for an exact entry chance by these confirmations. So, um, so now I don't have any positions because um, I'm still waiting for the breakout on this CAT JPY and also AUDCAD. It broke downwards, but still I'm waiting for the chance to come for a good entry. So if it happens um, before I meet my family today, then I will take trade. And most likely what I do is, um, so before I have a big meeting or before I have uh, you know enough uh, pips to the stop loss, then uh, I will move it to the stop loss and just uh, you know attend the meetings or attend these uh, events. So uh, yeah, but if it doesn't happen, if I cannot set the break even line before the meeting, before my big events, or before sometimes before. I take my dog for a walk, um, I exit and uh, come back to chart or I simply move it to break even and come back to chart afterwards. Yeah, because um, so so that means I don't uh, usually let the market run with the losses. Every time I stay away from the charts and if I cannot uh, if I cannot stick to the charts, then I make sure to move it to break even and uh, stay away from, from the market. Otherwise, I will exit. And it's the same over the weekend too. Over the weekends, if I cannot set the break even line at the right timing, then simply exit and come back to the chart next hours, uh, next week. So, uh, so this is a very important mindset to become a non-losing trader as my YouTube channel's main theme because after I focus on to become a non-losing trader then uh, I start to win trades overall but before I focus to become a non-losing trader my focus was to become a profitable trader and I failed many times but um, after I get used to the break-even trades then I start to not to lose, and from there, I start to win profits. So I think these are the steps that are important uh, to follow. So first, you you're, will be losing trade, and after that, you will become a non-losing trade, and then finally, you become a profitable trader. So I think uh, yeah, these steps are very important. Yeah, based on my experience, you cannot be a profitable trader from next day or next month. It needs to practice and uh, you have to see performance over the monthly basis or yearly basis. Uh, you cannot see performance on the weekly is a bit too, too, uh, too narrow. And also uh, daily performance is also uh, too, too, uh, too low too. I mean, um, you have to see performance on the monthly or yearly basis Otherwise, um, you cannot become a full-time trader, especially if you if you are planning to live a trader, uh, live in the trades. Then uh, I recommend you to have performance on the monthly or yearly basis, not the daily or weekly basis, because um, you have to see the performance in the long term. So uh, yeah, anyways, that's my topic. That's my main theme on this YouTube channel to help you become a non-losing non trader and hopefully you get the essence by my YouTube lives and videos on this uh, by Ichimoku King Kohyo on my channel. So uh, yeah, looks like the market is still quiet. Looks like uh, the market is still getting ready for a couple of uh, news this week. So yeah, briefly touching on the economic news for today. There is a CPI, a consumer price index in the US, so um, it can affect the market. So if you're holding some USD pairs, you have to be careful on this pair, on this market news. And also there is a, 
um, BOE's governor barely speech in pound, euro, a pound, so uh, you have to watch out on the pound pairs too. And also uh, on Thursday tomorrow, as I mentioned earlier, there is a Canadian, Canadian uh, dollars uh, governor speech. So CAD could be affected by that and also under um, Governor Bailey speech in UK. So pound could be affected by that too. And on Friday, we have um, a couple of news on the US retail sales and also Michigan um, sentiment report. So these two news could be affected by the USD currency pair. So yeah, we have to also watch out the news, what's coming next, because that can be potentially make the market move. So when it happens, the market could be volatile. So you have to watch out these important news. I don't really pay attention to these minor or major uh, minor news here, but I only pay attention to these major, major news because uh, that can affect the market very heavily. Sometimes it just spikes. So um, it's it's uh, it's always good to know what's coming next today tomorrow before taking trades is my recommendation too, and this is also part of becoming a non-losing trader. So before focusing on the profits, focus on the risk, focus on the risk management is my advice. So hopefully you can continue to learn this uh, essence of the tradings by Ichimoku Kinko Hyo in multiple time frames on my YouTube channel. So I will be ending this recorded session today. So I hope you enjoyed today's video session. If you liked it, please press the good button before you leave so that it keeps me going. And also uh, please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these video sessions or live sessions every day on my YouTube channel. So if I can't do, if I cannot do the live session, then I will record the video beforehand and upload on my YouTube channel so that at least you can learn every day on my YouTube channel. So now I wear the, uh, the jacket and also tie because uh, I want to be serious on these uh, teachings and that's why this is my commitment to show how serious I am to be able to help everybody on my YouTube channel. So uh, yeah, so hopefully you can get the essence and also never give up is also a mindset that is important. Um, to be honest, I'm ne I never know how many times I have decided to quit the Forex trace, when I, especially when I was losing overtime for the first two years. Um, I I thought of quitting the Forex trace many times, but somehow I never gave up and that's why I'm able to uh, become a full-time trader and also uh, I can achieve my other next goals in Dubai. So uh, yeah, never give up is also important, but in order not to give up, you need the discipline and also you need the mindset to improve um, over time. Especially you have to learn from past trades and you have to learn from your losing trades in the past. Sometimes uh, we don't want to see our failures in the past. We don't want to see our mistakes in the past. But um, this, is, this is what we need to do. We have to be honest on our past trades, especially the ones that are losing because um, we, there, are, there are good lessons from our losing tries by ourselves. So uh, yeah, look back your tries, especially the losing tries, face on these losing tries because that's the best way you can learn. Uh, so I believe myself that the, uh, the best teacher of mine is myself. Uh, I of course learn the Forex Trades Ichimoku from Goichi Hosoda by the books I read, but the original books and also uh, I, re I also learned the price action on many books and videos but mainly um, my teacher is myself within myself and I learn myself also. 
So、uh, this attitude of learning yourself is also the part of the process, and in that way,、um, you can get confidence in yourself, and you can cultivate the confidence in yourself, and、um, you can keep trading in the long run. Yeah, after all, after all, the confidence should come within yourself. Otherwise, no matter how many times I say. That the Ichimoku is important, no matter how many times I say this is important, that is important, until you practice it and until you learn from yourself,、uh, they are all meaningless. So that's the part of the reasons why I say the, things, the same things over and over again on this YouTube channel to,、uh, so that you can get the sense of it. And this is by, based on my experience. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully,、um, you can refer to it and apply on your day to day analysis and trace. So, once again, thank you for joining everyone and、uh, have a great day today, have a great week. And I hope、uh, everybody, yourself and your family, friends are safe and healthy. So, until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, bye for now, everyone. Matane. Thank you.